I have been trying to understand the process of scientific explanation, and I think I have it figured out. Here is my my example. I could be a NFL quarterback. Okay, so you think you could be a NFL quarterback. Well, what is your evidence? First off, I have been watching football all my life. That is not sufficient or appropriate evidence because watching a sport does not make you good at it. I had 65% completion rating when I was 12 years old playing in after school sports. I am sorry, but that is not appropriate or sufficient because the evidence is not current. You are much older than 12 years old now. I think you will need to find evidence that supports your claim or come up with a new claim. Okay, okay. How about Andrew Luck could be a NFL quarterback? And, what is your evidence? He was the quarterback for Stanford for three years and he was picked first in the NFL draft. That was an example of appropriate and sufficient evidence that supports your claim. I think you finally got it. What is your reasoning? Andrew Luck would be a great quarterback because he was the quarterback at Stanford for three years and he was the number one pick in the NFL draft. Why our reasoning statement should not restate your evidence and claim. All right, how about this? Andrew Luck's current statistics project him to be a good quarterback. Historically, the number one draft pick is a good player. Ah. I am glad you like my reasoning and did not have a rebuttal. That was it. Now we should try it with one of our science lessons.